What is up guys, Mr. The Reverts here, welcome back to the channel. Today we got some information about the new mid-season update for Warzone that's going to be bringing a bunch of changes to the gameplay, some new items to use in-game, and more. Now guys, the mid-season update is set to go live today, June 29th at 11 p.m. Pacific Standard Time. So later tonight is when players can start their downloads for the new update. And one of the biggest changes that's taking place in Warzone is there's going to be 200 players in a game. Yeah, 200 players, meaning 50 quads of operators are going to be fighting against each other. And it's going to be a lot more hectic for sure. And the description says this new player count makes Warzone an even bigger Battle Royale experience. So get ready to drop in alongside 190 nine other members of this million strong community to cause havoc so i'm kind of curious to see how these servers are going to hold up with um warzone having 200 players and on screen now is like the little image they use obviously you can see in the background there there's a little train track too so maybe they could be giving us more clues in this update that a train is going to be coming to warzone but i doubt we're going to see a functioning train in this new warzone update um but again as i stated in my previous videos definitely do think a train is going to be added into warzone zone at some point there's also another new game mode called juggernaut royale and the description says find one of the airdrop care packages to become the juggernaut and use the minigun to attack enemies and vehicles once a juggernaut is sent to the gulag a new juggernaut care package will drop on the map so this game mode sounds like a lot of fun for sure and i really do wonder how powerful the juggernaut is going to be hopefully he won't be insanely overpowered where it's just really hard to kill him but i definitely do think it's going to take some teamwork to finally take him down and then another new piece of equipment we have that's coming to uh, Warzone is called the Spotter Scope. And the description says, think of this as a high-powered scope without the glint. This reusable scope allows you to scan the environment around you and mark enemies without being detected. Perfect for scouting ahead. The Spotter Scope is a great tool for operators who want to plan their next move while keeping a low profile. So the Spotter Scope, I believe you can get this um, kind of like the, um, the stopping power rounds or the armor box, I believe you can find it in chests um, I'm not sure if it's gonna be like a loot item where you can find it off the ground or what rarity it's gonna be um, but it is gonna remove that glint and you can actually mark enemies without being detected too which is which is a pretty nice little perk there I'm not sure if teammates can see that as well um, but again if you are a sniper then the spotter scope is gonna be a very great tool for you to use and then next up here for warzone we have the warzone starter pack and in this starter pack you get an epic cougar skin a legendary shotgun blueprint an epic calling card called breathing easy and alongside that with an epic emblem called the vulture culture and then one hour of double xp for weapons and then one hour of double battle pass xp and all this is going to cost five dollars if you're interested in purchasing it and then lastly guys we do have a new sniper rifle coming to warzone called the right tech amr and it says that this 50 caliber chambered beast joins the three other weapons in the sniper rifle category and there's also going to be a blueprint variant available in the store called the lost Souls bundle and apparently the right tech AMR is one of the deadliest semi-automatic sniper rifles in the game so um, we're really going to be interested to see how that sniper rifle is going to play out towards the meta if it's going to take over I highly doubt it though because um, I don't really think semi-automatic sniper rifles are um, that good to use in Warzone but maybe this one is going to do a bit more damage than the other ones in the game so um, those are the new updates coming to Warzone there's a couple of other stuff coming to multiplayer for uh, one of the new game modes it's Team Defender, which has been in previous Call of Duty games, and a new multiplayer map called Chessire Park. So not a whole lot of multiplayer content coming in this mid-season update, but it's going to be set to be around 22 to 30 gigs, and the patch notes should also be coming out later today as well. And I'm pretty sure this is going to be the update where the growl gets nerfed, and the new meta for Warzone possibly may get a bit of a shakeup, which I'm very, very excited to see happening. So again, today, June 29th at 11 p.m. Pacific time is when you can officially start downloading your update or if you're in the UK it's going to be June 30th at 2 a.m. Eastern time or 7 a.m. UK 8 a.m. EU so uh, the new update is going to be coming out today guys be on the lookout for that one last thing too going back to Warzone it appears in one of the images that the stadium is going to be opening up um, because if you look in the little uh, blog post image on the very very top of the roof you can see kind of like a little hole down there um, so I'm not sure if you can also land on top of the stadium and um, be forced to drop inside or if one of the doors on the outside is going to let you in but I, I definitely
definitely don't remember those windows being opened up and you can actually see um, stuff that's inside the stadium. So uh, maybe you can get uh, alongside those little railings and possibly shoot at people from uh, down below or something like that. I don't know, but um, I'm not all too sure even if the stadium is going to be opening up. It just looks like it is from this image on the blog post. But um, let me know thoughts about this down in the comments, guys, along with the other updates coming to Warzone. Thanks for watching. Love you all so much, and I'll see you all later.